Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Monday, so it's meal prep day. I have a really good meal prep for you. Protein packed, high quality whole food and just healthy overall recipes. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a meal prep every single week. All of today's recipes are on my recipe website. I will link that at the top of the description box along with nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend. You know this is how I have lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability to ask questions or talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group We'd love to have you are all down in that description box. So let's head on into the kitchen for this week's meal prep. For breakfast this week, I'm making mushroom spinach bacon egg cups. I'm shooting for a high protein breakfast. I'll go ahead and pair this with some fruit, maybe some toast. We'll see where the week goes, but let me show you what you'll need. So first you're going to need bacon of your choice. You can use fully cooked bacon, regular bacon, center cut turkey, whatever your preference is. This is what we have on hand. So I'm going to use the Costco brand of the fully cooked bacon. You'll need some baby spinach, eggs, fat-free cheese, feta cheese. You can do goat cheese. You can really do any cheese, salt and pepper, mushrooms, milk, and minced garlic. So I have my oven preheating to 400 degrees. We have a muffin pan and we're going to line 10 muffin cups with one slice of bacon. Just wrap that around the edge. It's okay if it overlaps a little bit. Just make sure that you leave that hole in the middle for us to put the eggs and veggie mixture. We're going to pop these in the oven for 15 minutes and let's get our veggies sauteing. So I have a skillet over medium heat sprayed with nonstick cooking spray. I diced up eight ounces of mushrooms. We're going to add that to the skillet and allow those to start to saute. While the mushrooms are sauteing in a small medium bowl, go ahead and crack in six eggs. We're going to add a quarter cup of milk and some salt and pepper. And then whisk that together and set it aside. Go ahead and add in one big scoop of minced garlic and allow that to become fragrant. And then we're going to add in our baby spinach and allow that to saute down and wilt completely. So I pulled the bacon out of the oven. You do want to kind of spread it apart. Make sure there's a hole in the middle for all of the egg cup ingredients. I'm going to take our veggie mixture and put that right in the middle of the bacon. Then we're going to scoop in the egg mixture. And then we're going to top it with our feta cheese. We're going to put our egg cups back in our 400 degree oven for about 15 minutes. I just pulled the egg cups out of the oven. Don't these look so good? We're going to let them cool for a few minutes and then we'll pop them out of the muffin pan and I'll be back to share points, calories, serving size, and macros. For lunch this week, I'm making blackened fish taco bowls with corn salsa. I'm so excited for this. So let me show you what you'll need. You can use any fish you would like. I'm going to use tilapia. This is what I have on hand. The recipe actually calls for mahi-mahi. You could do salmon. You can really do any fish of your choice. I'm going to substitute non-fat Greek yogurt in place of the sour cream in the recipe. You'll need lime juice, salt and pepper, green onions, fresh cilantro, an avocado, red onion, a red bell pepper, frozen corn. And seasoning wise, you'll need paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, oregano, and thyme. And then the recipe also calls for cayenne pepper. I am going to omit that. And then I'm going to cook up some jasmine rice in my little dash rice cooker. I bought this off Amazon. I'll link it down below. And we're going to add some rice to our blackened 
fish taco bowl. So let's go ahead and get started. I have one cup of rice and one and a half cups of water in my little dash rice cooker. We're going to allow the rice to cook while we put together the rest of the bowls. So the first thing we're going to do is put together the corn salsa. So I added one, my full red bell pepper diced, half of a red onion diced, and half of a cup of chopped fresh cilantro. And then I'm going to add two cups or this entire bag of corn. You want to make sure your frozen corn is thawed. And then we're going to add a couple of tablespoons of lime juice and some salt and pepper. And then go ahead and stir that together. And there is the corn salsa. This looks amazing. I'm going to put some plastic wrap on this and throw it in the fridge. So to make the avocado cream, I added some avocado to my little blender cup. We're going to add one half of a cup of non-fat Greek yogurt. Again, you can use sour cream if you would rather. About a tablespoon of lime juice, one diced up green onion, and some salt. And we're just going to blend this up and it's going to give us a nice creamy sauce. Here is the avocado cream. I'm going to go ahead and put this into a bowl and set it aside. We're going to put together the seasoning for our fish. So I'm going to start with about a tablespoon of paprika, about a half a teaspoon of black pepper and half of a teaspoon of salt, about one and a half teaspoons of dried oregano, about a teaspoon and a half of onion powder, teaspoon and a half of garlic powder, a teaspoon and a half of thyme, and of course you would add in about a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper if you were using that. We're going to mix this together and this is the seasoning for our fish fillets. I have a skillet sprayed with some nonstick cooking spray. I have my fish fillets and I'm just going to rub some seasoning on each side and then place it in the skillet have my fish over medium high heat. We're going to cook it for about four to five minutes each side or until the fish is cooked through. It's opaque and it's flaky. So the fish is done. It looks and smells amazing. We have our corn salsa, we have our avocado cream, and I have my cooked rice. So I'm going to be doing one half of a cup of cooked rice, one fish filet with one quarter of the avocado, avocado crema, and the corn salsa. I'm not going to put together any of the meal prep containers only because I'm going to have to warm up the fish and the rice, but I wanna keep the salsa and the avocado cream cold. So I'll go ahead and put the serving size points, calories, and macros here on the screen for you. For a snack this week, I'm making chickpea protein bars. Now I have a little twist on this recipe, but let me show you what you'll need. First, you're going to need a can of chickpeas and you can see that I have cannellini beans. I swore these were chickpeas when I was putting together my grocery list, so I didn't buy any. I'm going to make them with these. These are a white bean. They should do the trick, but the recipe does call for chickpeas. You'll need some pumpkin seeds, reduced sugar craisins, vanilla extract, salt, Medjool dates, protein powder, of course I'm going to use Clean Simple Eats, simply vanilla protein powder. I love Clean Simple Eats everything. You already know it's my very favorite protein powder. It does great for baking as well. So I'm going to use one packet of Simply Vanilla. And then from Clean Simple Eats, I'm also using one of their offbeat butters. This is gingerbread cookie almond butter. I like this one because it has just a little bit of spicy flavor to it. I think it's going to pair really nicely in these bars and it tastes absolutely Incredible. So both of these items are from Clean Simple Eats. I do have a 10% discount. I'll link it down below for you. So I added one half of a cup of dates. I did, of course, remove this the pit. And then I have my drained and rinsed can of cannellini beans. We're going to add one quarter cup of nut butter, about a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and a pinch of salt. And then I'm going to blend this up. We're going to add our packet of protein powder, a third cup of reduced sugar craving, craisins, and a third cup of pepitas, and then we're going to give it one more blend until a dough is formed. So here is what the mixture should look like. I did end up adding a second scoop or packet of Clean Simple Eats vanilla protein just to get this dough type of consistency. So you'll actually need two scoops or two packets, and then we're going to add this to a baking dish lined with parchment paper, foil, plastic wrap, whatever you have. And we're just going to spread that out in the bottom of the dish. 
So you can either refrigerate your bars for about four hours or freeze them for about an hour until firm. I'm going to go ahead and throw these into the freezer and I'll be back to show you the completed bar and give you points, calories, macros, and serving size. So here are our bars out of the freezer. These smell and look so good. What a great pre-workout, post-workout snack or a little afternoon pick-me-up. I'll go ahead and put all the information for the bars here on the screen for you. Thank you for joining me for this week's healthy meal prep. I can't wait to eat these meals all week long. We are packed with protein, healthy carbs, fiber, healthy fat. It's going to be another really good week. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on so you don't miss a meal prep or any of the other videos that I upload every single week. Don't forget my recipe website is at the top of the description box along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Monday, friends. Here's to a successful week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.